Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my curls revert from straight hair back to curly. And in this video, I just kind of wanted to chit chat with you guys just a little bit about um, heat damage and kind of why I didn't get heat damage. I do want this video just to show you guys that you can be versatile with your hair. You don't always have to avoid heat. Now, excessive amounts of heat, yes, you do want to avoid that because over time, your hair is just breaking down, the protein is just breaking down as you straighten your hair. But if you want to straighten your hair here and there, this is kind of the video for you. So what I do, as you guys saw, I do have a stylist. And if you really paid attention to what she did and how she did my hair, everything was in sections. She did not overdo it in one section with any type of heat. So she basically shampooed me and all that good stuff. And then she went in with a dryer. Now when she goes in with the blow dryer, that is the most important part. If your hair doesn't get really 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 straight and tame like not really straight to the point of like a press but like really straight and tamed for a blow dried look like if you can't do like this and it's flowy nine times out of ten your flat iron isn't going to be as good so what you need to do is focus more on the blow drying step before you get to flat ironing because as you as you guys saw in the video when she flat ironed my hair it was literally one pass and that was it like Nothing. It was silky, silky, silky smooth. I used to go to her with my hair already blow dried, and she would always be like, this is just such a horrible blow dry. So, <laughs> I know, and I do like a really good job, and she'd still be like, this sucks. So, <laughs> I know that the blow drying stage is like the most important when you are straightening. So, if you don't have a good blow dryer, or if your blow dryer is blowing out crazy amounts of heat, if it's too, too hot, and it's not directing it, even the nozzles are important on your blow dryers. How is it dispersing that that heat onto your hair is it just powering it all into one area and if so are you moving constantly to make sure that's not necessarily damaging your hair so there is honestly some science to how to really straighten hair without damage but you need to go to good stylists like if you were to do two passes let's say you did two passes of your flat iron you would flat iron your hair and then go back now your hair does burn at 451 degrees so the objective to apply any type of heat is to not get over that temperature so what when you are doing this guys you definitely have to make sure one pass if you're at 450 on your flat iron already and you do one pass and you do another one you have exceeded 450 no you haven't exceeded it on the flat iron but your hair temperature the heat is at that stage if you understand what I'm saying like a lot of people say to me oh well my flat iron was on three something yeah well you probably did three passes or your hair probably wasn't healthy in the beginning so that's another thing if your hair is not healthy if, if it hasn't been deep conditioned regularly if you haven't been taking care of your hair and then you decide to straighten your hair sis <laughs> well that shit's just gonna be if you don't have healthy hair going into straightening your hair I don't see how it's going to help after you straighten it. So, just make sure you're keeping all that in mind, guys. When she straightens my hair, guys, she's so diligent. Like I said, I'll put the video above so you guys can reference what I'm talking about. But it's just making sure your hair is healthy. Making sure you're not exceeding 451 degrees. Um, making sure that you have a good heat protected. But nothing that's too greasy. You don't want a lot of grease on your hair. A lot of moisture on your hair. You do not want moisture on your hair when you are trying to flat iron your hair. You want your hair to be super duper dry. So the drying process is so important. You don't want a lot of moisture because heat and oils and all these moisture sometimes just don't work and you could penetrate it more into your hair and it won't be in a good way. Okay. A lot of hairstylists make sure the hair is nice and airy. They're not putting a lot of moisturizers on your hair or anything like that when they are straightening it. And there's a reason for that. So just make sure if you are trying to do it at home, you don't need to be doing all these like super deep conditioners and stuff like that. That kind of stuff can actually hinder um, the outcome of the actual style once you do start putting the heat on it. It can make it a lot oilier and it could cause damage. So make sure you guys are paying attention to those little details as well. Definitely make sure you find you a good hairstylist that have done natural hair and you've seen other people <laughs> um, hair revert back after that. Like, <laughs> some of these people do focus on just making your hair look good when you leave the door. So just make sure you are, you know, keep an eye on them. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, but there is something I wanted to show you guys. Y'all, I am so excited. Look what literally just came in the mail, like, this morning. Yay! I got my YouTube plaque. 
So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing because I just want to share it with you guys because, of course, you're the reason I have this. <laughs> Your little one subscribe helped out with this. They all count. They all count. Wow. Wow, Kimberly. Aww. <laughs> I've already heard these things. Um, and Rick did mine. Aw, thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Ooh, child. I did it, y'all. Look at that girl. Whoa. Ah, y'all can't see it. My light's too bright. We shining too bright. Oh, my gosh. Sky. Uh, look at my thing. I am, oh, my God. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, my name's spelled right in everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. Y'all can't even see it. It saved my name and I surpassed. Ooh, this a mirror mirror. Oh god. Look a little rough. I came on camera a little rough. I know I did. It's okay. It's okay, girl. I'm still cute. So I think we're gonna put this over here, y'all. That's how you get your front, your front way. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I love you so much. Kimchi gang. What's y'all know I love y'all though. I'm not finna even sit here and have a whole paragraph because I tell you in the comment section, don't I? Don't I? Oh, and also, um, remember that I do respond to everybody in the first 30 minutes. So yeah, I just want to make sure I put that in a video so you guys know. Whoever comments in the first 30 minutes of my video going live, I do respond to every single one of you. Every single one of you. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.